does. All right, a diner built to boost the economy after the World War II made its way all the way to a Phoenix neighborhood. And now a Valley family owns and runs it, and they love the history as much as we do. Jamie takes us to Little Chef Diner at the Garfield and Jamie's local love. Uh, this is a great space in the Garfield district. It is called Little Chef Diner at the Garfield, and I have the chef and owner, Mike Beltron, with me. Uh, Mike, first of all, you know Vic, our photographer, Victor. How do you know Vic? Uh, high school, Alhambra High School. We went to high school together. He was a grade right below me um, my senior year. He was a junior. Uh, but yeah, that's where I know Victor from, high school. Shout out to photographer Victor. Okay, so you also teach high school until recently. Uh, you've got a food truck. You've been working the farmer's market. Tell me a little bit about your background. So, yeah, so I was teaching at Tolson High School um, 2019 of December. I started um, right before the pandemic. I was there for about three years. Um, I was supposed to go back this year. Unfortunately, uh, the Garfield uh, situation happened. Um, so, yeah. Well, fortunately, you have a new business that you needed to yes, tend to. So that's exactly. why, that's why. Exactly. So tell me about this space because uh, it really has a unique history where you renamed it. Yes, yeah, so when we purchased it, we purchased it as the Garfield Phoenix. But as I was talking to the landlord, he was explaining to me the history of this diner. And I got super excited just hearing about it. So I started doing my research. I found a website in Kansas where the actual manufacturer was from. His name is Arthur Valentine. So in the 1950s, he created a bunch of different di diners to help the economy going after World War II. So this specific model was called Little Chef model, which is only 3,500 of these models were uh, made. So ours happened to be in 683. Three, number 683 out of 3,500. So this one was actually found in Williams, Arizona off of Route 66. Um, the landlord uh, by the name of Robert Young, he brought it here in 1979 um, and it was put on this property in 1982. Oh my gosh, one of the unique features is the lockbox. Yes. So uh, show, open the door and show, well, let Mike Williams go in here. Uh, what did that uh, lockbox do? What surf, uh, purpose did it serve? So the lockbox on the wall mm -hmm. um, shows authentication of the diamond Diner. Um, and the owners of these diners uh, would put 10% of their earnings um, in the lockbox and the manu somebody from the manufacturer would come by, pick up their money, and then be on their way. So that's how they would pay for these diners. Uh, pay, for, pay their rent, right? Pay their rent. All right, Mike, swing around. Who, who are those beautiful people in the corner? Uh, that's my beautiful family right there. That's my wife, uh, my two daughters, and my little boy, Miles. Oh, my goodness. So this is a small diner space. How do you work in that kitchen? Um, it's very difficult, but I think, you know, working in my food trailer kind of help me yeah. um, but I mean it's literally it's the smallest kitchen I've ever worked in I worked in quite a bit of uh, different kitchens but it is super super small but we make it work yeah. though we do uh -oh. tiny but mighty right exactly. okay so we're gonna let him do some cooking so when I see you in the nine o'clock hour uh, he's got some pancakes that are like for the gram so these pancakes are awesome we're gonna take a look at those plus but chopped cheese. chopped cheese we're gonna have a chopped cheese that's coming up in the nine o'clock hour stay with us